Well, there is a, a perceptibly greater sense of urgency from both sides here with uh, a place in the last four on the line. All the eight sides still left here are perfectly entitled to think they have a good shot at this, Peter. It is quite an atmosphere here, and that's clearly raised the bar in terms of expectations from the crowd. They genuinely think, or certainly the feel is, that they'll get to see the game of the tournament. There's the whistle, and here we go. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? I would go for Sofiane Fagouli. But he injects a bit more regret. And Slimani! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive, and expectations were not met. Bye. Hoists it forward. Urie. And here's the chance to counter. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Aurier plays a clever pass. Plays it out to the wing. And now the breakaway. Slimani just brushed off the ball there. Tries to get it forward quickly. Mares. And it's Mares. What a ball! Shapes to shoot! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Ivory Coast have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Now it's Mares. Lofted into the middle. It speaks for itself, doesn't it? Best left there. Forward it goes. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Gets it back. Slimani. And here's Faguli. He's had a shot! He's got a goal! And it's Algeria who take the lead. And a trademark move ends with the inevitable classy finish. Look, if you want to be effective on the break, then the key element is always pace. That's what really rips the fences apart. And it's difficult to find an answer to it when it's applied like that. Algeria have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. And it's Aurier. Bentaleb. Half an hour played now. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Mares. Mares plays it in. And it's played forward.
Algeria are in control here on the brink of half-time. Played out to the right. Massive leap! He still wants to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Kings it out wide. Beautifully done. Aurier. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looking to break out here. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And it's Gradle. Kessier. The referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. And what a decent game up to now. So you views on the first half? Peter, this is far from a lost cause. Yes, they've been hit once by a, a pacey opposition, but they've asserted more control and, and look capable. Algeria head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Algeria going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Tries a shot! Decent enough try. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Fakuli. Bentaleb. He's made his mark on this game. Mares Played back in. He's got... And the shot! Appearance and very necessary. That's not going to make it. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And here's Faguli. Gradle plays it forward. And it's Slimani. And out to safety. That's been one straight back. Big chance to get at them. Hoists it forward, and he's straight offside. That's what has to be done now. Seri with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Well, that's a booking, always looked it. Out to the left it goes. Faguli has a pop! It's in! Two to the good! They have breathing space! 
The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. starting to look very comfortable well that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and oh shooting chance a oh, great save real class well that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his his high class wage Played it short. Shots to cross here. He's had a go! And he's found the net! Right back in the game! Well, oh, that always looked the likely outcome. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball and it all came good. Ivory Coast get themselves back into contention. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Ben Taleb. Short goal! Really well taken goal. Ben Taleb versus the keeper, and only one winner. Well, how's that for composure, Peter? You can see the keeper tried to put as much pressure on him by staying upright, but it didn't phase him. Not in the slightest. Well, that has changed the dynamic somewhat. The crowd are calling for this to be put to bed. There's little sympathy about it. Promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Fozi Gulam. Mares. It's broken loose. Bentaleb. Has a hit. A real chance and a real let off. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. Bailly tries to locate someone up front. Aurier goes looking. He's gone for it! He's looking to get there first. Out to the right. Played into the mid... Oh, just needed a better contact. 
I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Bentaleb. Now the whistler's gone for a reckless challenge there. He has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Mondi. Gulan. Now it's Mares. Mares plays it in. It's gone out for a throw in. Great leap! Oh, I just couldn't turn it in. Ivory Coast can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Forward pass. It's a loose ball. Ball through needs to be good here. And it's been given away. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Algeria through to the last four, just two more steps now, they have got a crack at it. Your reflections then, Jim. Very nicely negotiated, not perfect, but it's all about moving on and mission accomplished.